Kansas is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator's doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle at about the 35. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss from their own 35-yard line. Second down. Right down. <laughs> Number 19 was the intended receiver on the way. That brings up third and 14. I smell fear in that offense. I He's tackled at the 30. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. From the 30-yard line. It's second down. He throws left. Incomplete pass. There's a strike complete, and down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg straight. Three nothing, West Virginia. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jayhawks have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Dog four! He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down at about the 49. it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. From midfield, first down. 
He's taken down to the 38 yard line. Gaining 12 yards. First down. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Red, go! go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. From the 19 yard line, first down. Bounces off a would-be tackler. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. This is the ninth play of this drive. Three down, three down. Thirty was the mic. Here's a run. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's tackled at about the 11. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Fakes to the back. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the four. Gain of seven yards. That makes it third and goal. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. That's a great tackle at the five. The halfback loses about one on the option. Kansas can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. This is a fun game, and I think I want to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Red two. Blue 20. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 45 yard line. And he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Looking for the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. Yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's a fumble. It's picked up by the quarterback. 
and he's level at the 22-yard line. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. From the 22-yard line, third down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. We played one, three-three tie. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Mike 52. Mike 52. In the air, it's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and 10, ball on their own 20. Under heavy pressure. Passes to the right. It's picked off. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. They'll give it off here. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Jayhawks know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. Here we go. Here we go. I got three. Right two. <laughs> Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Receiver. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Going over the middle, intercepted. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. West Virginia is up a field goal. Out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Deep pass 
to the end zone. Can't pull it in. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Got it. Complete, he's out of bounds. Around the 30 yard line. First down pass to his tailback. He's tackled at the 11. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent go, pressure on that play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Play, and the defense was ready for it. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. So we're looking at another third down here. West Virginia is up by three. The five, complete. It's the junior, and he's hit immediately. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. They'll drop him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. That brings up the second and goal. All on the two-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10-play, 53-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So our score, 13-3. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Quick strike to the receiver. Excellent open field tackle. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Dog four! He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 46. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. Black from the 44-yard line. Five. First Yellow. down. <laughs> Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds at the 32. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Gets it. He's in space. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. Second it's second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Hey, check 
This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. up and he just drilled it from long range Kansas, Kansas ready to kick this one off he just drills this one and they can forget about returning this one six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. We've played a half. West Virginia leads it 13-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here's a receiver screen. Ball's incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. They'll bring him down right around the 50. Number 23 makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Watch nine, watch nine. 
Nice run to the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Red two. X7. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Number 37 brings him down at the 29-yard line. First down. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds around the 22-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Go four. Throws and it's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. Three down, three down. Three down. Watch 25. Black five, black go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook thrust. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Throws out and through his hands. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Catches it, and that's all. Fires out to his receiver. He's out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. immediately tackled. six-yard line, and they'll look to convert here on another third down.
touchdown, Mountaineers. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and then come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And they make the stop at the 27. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. That's a deep 10 on the play. First down. 31 the mic. Watch the pass. Dog four. Excellent. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Fires quicker, and he's got his man, and he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Number 16 on the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Just throws this one away. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. I'm on, I'm on. And two. And he is drilled at the 24-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, it second and, and two. two. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Dog four. Slings it. He's tackled at the 22. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 47. Black five. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 2013 Mountaineers. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Check right, check right. Black five. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Well, they 
they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. West Virginia holds a four-point lead. Green nine, green nine, go! Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 30. the 39-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Reception. He has some room. The 10. Touchdown, Touchdown. and now they're in front. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. He lets it go. Brought down at the 32. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here.
Less than three minutes in the game. Kicks away, and it's good. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, that was a clutch field goal without a doubt. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Set. Loop 14. Loop 14. Motion, 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 motion. Hot. Motion, motion. Hot. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires quickly, and it's picked off to the 20, to the 10. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. Number 25 makes the set at the 49 yard line. First down. from their own 49-yard line. First down. Just under two to go in the game. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. and he's got room here. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Easy, easy. Throws this one out to the left. That close to being intercepted. Pratty drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Inside handoff. And he's level at the 28-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. As a man, he'll lose big yards. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. 
He's tackled at the 15. Kill, kill, kill! Number four, the six on the tackle at the 15 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15. Under a minute left in the game. Red two. Kill, kill, kill. That's green. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's a dead heat. We're tied at 30. Kansas is ready to kick it away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, right now, this is like a race, a foot race. And uh, I think the question is, who's going to get there first? How about watching these two quarterbacks execute their offenses? I mean, they're flawless up to this point. Great execution and playing with a ton of confidence. I think you're right. It's going to come down to that last possession. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. These seconds should be pretty thrilling. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Well, we played an hour and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. My 52. Quick pass. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Second, second down and ten to go. Ball on the 25. Here we go. Here go. Here go. He's looking for six. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. Sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is gonna thrive under the circumstances. Anybody on this team's happy that their defensive lineman just dropped an interception. And I think a few of those guys down there on the sideline are getting a chuckle out of the big fella dropping the ball. From the 25 yard line, second down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield.
throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled in the open field. Makes the reception. Number eight brings him down at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they hit him in the backfield. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Kansas 36, West Virginia 33. And the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.